Biological anthropologists uh, basically are in three areas. They look at uh, human evolution and um, sort of fossil evidence, and that also extends into looking at forensic type evidence. Uh, so looking at what killed people, essentially. It's hard to tell whether all of his teeth are erupted because he's lost so many in, of them in life. Do you see all of this bone we here? Yes, yeah, that's quite right. Old. So that is not a tooth that has dropped out after death. That is a tooth that was lost in life. Then we're quite interested in human sexual behavior and sort of branching into evolutionary psychology. So for example, I'm quite interested in reproductive scheduling, um, when to have a baby, how many babies to, you should have, how many can you afford to have in terms of your time and energy, and also when should you start. So I'm quite interested in teenage mothers. Why maybe do they start having children at a younger age and what are some of the reasons behind that? from an evolutionary perspective. Biological anthropology is the study of humans from both a physiological and psychological perspective, trying to understand how we have adapted to the world around us. So what I want to know is, on balance, are you an advertiser or are you a seeker? And then we're also interested in primates, and so there are a number of people in anthropology departments that study primates to try and understand our human evolution and human behaviour. One of the things we can do is look at non-human primates and use them to give us some understanding into human evolution and why humans are like they are. And human evolution focuses on the last seven million years of, 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 of the development of our own species. And it, it looks at some of the key aspects of, uh, of where biology starts to meet culture, where we start to manipulate our own environment rather than the environment manipulating us. But it also addresses where we're going, why we do the certain things we do. And it's a fascinating subject for anyone who's interested in, in why we are. If you don't study primates, you have nothing to compare humans to without a comparative perspective. There's, there's nothing to, to identify why humans are special or what is special about humans. If humans were like monkeys, we'd all leave the lecture theatre together, all go home together, all go to school together, all travelling around in a big bunch. We don't we split up and move in different groups. We change who we're hanging out with any particular time. Chimps is the same way. And understanding how that kind of social system works, understanding how people negotiate relationships in those kinds of social systems is core to understanding humans. Field work is long, hard and arduous and it's lots of, lots of time tracking through a forest trying to find chimps and then trying to keep up with them once you find them. And getting up in the morning when it's dark, fumbling around, putting the equipment together, getting out into the forest and then finding some chimps. And then once you find the chimps, staying with them, watching what they do, record what they do, spending as long with them as possible, maybe all day, moving around the forest, recording their behaviour and then analysing that later on. Biological anthropology is important because it allows us to understand what sort of animals we are and how and why we evolved and allows us to see what's special about people in comparison to other animals but also what makes us very similar to other animals and how we fit more generally into the biological world. It is the history of our species and I think it's really important to understand both how your body and mind works, why it works that way, why you have the preferences you do and why uh, you act the way you do essentially.